Hi there, my name is James. I'm an acupuncturist and practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine. In this video, I'll be showing you acupressure for stress, depression, and insomnia. So this is a great all-rounder if you're feeling anxious or having exam stress or not able to sleep. So there's a few points which are great for this sort of problem, um, and I think probably everyone <laughs> at some point suffers from this. So the first point is called hergu. This is between the first finger and thumb on the fleshy muscle here. So you're avoiding the flap of skin here um, and just pressing onto the muscle. What you want to do is do firm circular motions on here, um, onto this muscle bed. There's a big nerve here which is meant to help release endorphins and just help to calm you down really. It's also used for general pain relief. What you want to do is firm circular motions, probably about 20 repetitions on both sides. So I'm just using my thumb like that and just pressing between the first finger and thumb. This is called large intestine four, this is, um, but hergu in Chinese. So I'm pressing this firm set of motions. If you're ever feeling stressed or anxious or having a flare up or pain, this is a really good point to use just to calm you down and help relax you. The second technique is grasping the wrists. So this is a very traditional acupressure technique. Um, which focuses on a few acupressure points um, along the wrist. So, what you want to do is get your index finger and thumb and just grasp the wrist like this and just rub like that. So you want to do this, if you can, for about two minutes. You'll be surprised. It takes a lot of effort to do. So, you want to just rub back and forth like this for about two minutes, just on the crease of the hand here and um, where the hand um, joins up to the wrist. And this um, is great for insomnia, stress and depression. So if you're getting insomnia um, and just can't relax when you're going to bed, I like to perform these points just before I go to sleep. So this is a great one to help you relax. So you would do this for about two minutes, so um, after her goo. After two minutes, you want to do the other wrist. So um, again, just firm, circular motions, um, grasping the wrist. The next technique is rubbing the ears. So this looks very, very strange, but just bear with me. I <laughs> just, you know, do it if you want to. Um, if no one's watching, then it doesn't matter. So it's rubbing the ears. So there's loads and loads of acupressure and acupuncture points on the ears. Um, it's very similar to reflexology. So um, the idea that you can treat certain areas by pressing areas on you know, the foot, but this case it's the ear. So it's a, they call it a micro system. So what you want to do is rub the ears just like this. So I'm just doing this. I would probably do this again for two to five minutes if you can, just before going to bed or if you're feeling very stressed and anxious, just to help you relax. There's a huge number of nerves in the ears um, and it's just meant to help you relax. And I think it's very effective actually. Another one after that, if you want to do that, is just tapping behind the ears. So you have a bone, the occipital bone, um, just behind the earlobe is, and you want to just press this. You know you've got the right point because you're pressing on the bone, not on the fleshy part, just on the bone, and it feels hollow. And if you can hear that, probably not. So I'm just doing that on both sides. And again, if you can do it for one to two minutes, it's a good thing to do. And that is meant to really help relax. It's a very ancient technique. Um, and I think it's very, very effective. So they often use it in tapping therapy and um, ways to de-stress. So that's a very, very good one. The next one is on the apex, the top of the head. So this is called Bakwai or Do 20. And the way you measure it is getting two fingers, or two hands, the thumb and the first finger, just on the top of the ears, and you put, you reach over and you put your, um, where the fingers lie, where they fall, you know that's the point. So often there's a bit of a hollow there, you can feel it. So don't go too far back, it's just right on the apex, on the top of the head, and where you can maybe feel a slight hollow, that's the point. So. What I'm doing here, I'm not doing anything too hard, I'm just actually move, moving or mobilizing the scalp. So back and forth in a circular motion. And again, if you can do this for 20 to 30 repetitions or two minutes as a rule, um, that's excellent. So 
that's one of the scalp points which is really effective for stress, depression and insomnia and just to censor you really. The next one, which I think is very very good and really relaxing, is Yin Tang. So, this is an extra point, it's not on any of the meridians, it's a very special point. And I like to just tap this point, so I'm just tapping between the eyes, or between the eyebrows it is. So, firm, loud tapping, that's what you want to do. And it feels very, very relaxing. Again, there's a big nerve here, and it's just meant to really help relax you. I think it really does. Um, again, for two minutes, if you can, or maybe 20, 30 repetitions, but two minutes is a good, is a good one. This is also very good for my brain. Ah, very relaxing. The final point for stress and relaxation is Tai Chan or liver free. So this is just between the big toe and the second toe, just on the fleshy part here. So I'm just using firm circular motions. Um, again, you want to do it for two minutes or maybe 20 to 30 repetitions if you can't manage that on both feet. Avoid the web of the foot here. It's just here on the fleshy part. So you're not on any bone, it's just on the muscle. Okay, so that's the end of the tutorial for acupressure for stress, anxiety and depression and insomnia of course. So try it at home, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, bye!